in 2014 just to visit because uh, I was going to... <laughs> like I just came and no 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 I <laughs> it does it did sound like that like I came and visit and I was just like you know what I'm gonna stay now I came here and then I... She wants to enjoy, not what you say. She wants to enjoy, not what you do. She wants to enjoy who you are. I'm basically gonna bring you into three reasons why you find it really hard to enjoy yourself when you're with a woman. The first one we're gonna look at is the conditioning that you battle with in yourself and how you weren't really taught to show a woman who you really are when you first meet her. The second thing we're going, to, we're going to look at is her conditioning and how she wasn't taught to actually show who she is when a man's showing interest. And the third one is the conditioning of the people around you and how that takes your focus away from what you want to do. Front. So it's like you have, because you said you have like a cleverness to you. So it's like, how would you get past the front so that I can destroy everybody so you can get the money? So if we got the plan beforehand? We need a floor plan. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we need a floor plan. Okay, you're really thinking, all right? So let's say we have the floor plan, and I was like, all right. I looked at the bodyguard for three days. He doesn't look like he work out that much. He actually looks like he would get tired after like five minutes. So what you can do is find a way to get us inside and we, to the bodyguard. can find a way to go there from Sphere. From where? Sphere, is it Sphere? I don't remember what it's called. No, this like the underground thing. Like underground tunnel? Yeah, but there was another way for it. Like, and it, never mind, yeah, you got me from underground. There's always a way. From the underground tunnel? Would you blow, would you buy some dynamite and blow through the floor? Like, how are you going to no, do it? Isn't it called sphere? From another, from, from a different sphere? You mean, what that means, like a different, like, yes. What you mean, like, let's go in through a different sphere? Yeah. So a different sphere would be, like, through the roof or through the bottom? Bottom to the place, like the cash. Yeah. Room or whatever it's called, I don't know. Like, so you want to make a tunnel to the cash room? Because it's just one floor, mostly the banks. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> You're already thinking about it. You're like, all the banks in Budapest have one floor, so it wouldn't even no, be that hard. Find the one that has only one floor, so probably where they have to keep it should be in the first floor. So, I mean the ground floor. I mean. You are great. Uh, you are. So Can I, I just put the plate and then. Dig a hole from the top. I mean, it wouldn't take too long, maybe some hours, but it will eventually have a hole and then you can go up, pick everything, and no one would even notice. You know? Oh, this is great. <laughs> so, when are you ready to do this? Do you, when are we going to rob a bank? <laughs> you've, already, you've already thought about this a few times, obviously. No, actually, I just noticed right now it will be way easier than just going there and then. Yeah, but that's why I say you gotta be clever. We can even walk through the front door and be clever with it. It's actually, why don't you sit in the sun? It's actually really cold in the, right here. Yeah, actually, I'm waiting for our friend, but I have no internet. Let's sit in the sun. Let's sit in the sun. Wanna sit right there? It's so much better than this. I know you're getting cold. University what? University is too intense. Ah. Uh, so I just like can't even think about enjoying life, but graduating first then maybe enjoying life. Oh my god, you're gonna wait? What is wrong with you, woman? You can you can last semester, you know, if I oh, okay. can make it to graduate like in two months, I'm gonna be finally free from studying and shit because I hate studying my whole life was the only thing I hated most. 
And all the choices I made were the hardest somehow for a person who doesn't like to study. Mm. And right now it's my sixth year because the university is six years. So I can't that is the most stand insane. to be in university for one more extra year. You have a really cute way about you. Do I have what? You have a really cute way about you. Cute way about me? Yeah. What does it mean? It means like... Like, I like that you wear like glitter, pink uh, oh, yeah. glip you. gloss, and you love pink. You just like have this cute way about you. Studying here? No, I actually came here in 2014 just to visit. Because I was going to. <laughs> like, I just came and no, no, no. I, <laughs> it, does, it did sound like that. Like, I came and visited, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to stay. Now, I came here, and then I enjoyed it so much because it was so different than. Chicago or anywhere in America is just so different. Ah. The way the people are, the way it looks. You gotta forgive me because right now I'm like getting cold, but it's just way, way different. And I enjoy that fact because I was always interested in culture from a young age. And in America, like if they say you're Hungarian or German in America, you become American. So you start speaking American and it's just like. You're American then? Yes. Are you Uranian? No, I'm Turkish. Is it me? Like, why am I shaking? Like, you, you look all normal and I'm like shaking. Like, I'm, I'm really that cold. I don't know why. The perfect weather for me. Not cold, not hot, something in the middle. You're, you're, you know what? You, uh, I'm so cold. I'm, my words. Oh, uh, maybe it's because I'm used to it. Because in my home, teachers are not working for us. For a <laughs> yeah. while. It's been a long time actually. Of course. It's cold. Maybe that's why I don't feel it anymore. Look, I you see how cold I am though? Well, it's normal. It what are you talking normal, buddy. What are you talking about? This is, this no? to me is, I don't know if you hear. The first reason, that you feel so much that I can't enjoy myself around a woman, or it's hard for me to have fun when I'm there in an interaction, is simply because you were not taught to share yourself who you really are when you meet someone. You were taught to only share this much because this is what's accepted. I mean, don't give away too much right now. Give them a little bit, give her a little bit, and don't show so much because women want to know that there's more to you. Or you've been taught to act in a way that's like a player. Or act in a way where you are smooth or you're confident. Or be that way and that's the way women will receive you. And you've also heard, be yourself. You've heard this as well. What you have no clue about, but you've heard, be yourself. All things that have not taught you to really show who you really are. When you see a woman, it is a battle. It is. You're battling your conditioning when you see her. To let you know, This is the most unnatural thing to do. To the collective, it is very unnatural to just walk up to a woman and say hello. That is very unnatural to the collective. People feel like this is strange. He walked up to me, I don't know who he is, this is strange. The collective really feels that this is the most unnatural thing. Like, oh my God, who is this person coming to meet me? And it's something we're going to talk about later, which is why your attention get pulled away. But the fact that the collective feels like that's so unnatural, it teaches you that it is not natural to go share who you are with someone. You struggle sharing who you are because you don't see anyone else doing it. Or when you see them do it, they look like a guy who's acting smooth or something. He's in front of the girl and, you know, he kind of has this attitude where he doesn't really seem like he's interested. Maybe he's showing away like he has it all together. 
But throughout this, you still don't see an exact example of somebody being themselves. You don't see things like silliness. You don't see things like him willing to show things about himself that's not so perfect. All you see is the guy has it together and that's what I need to do. I need to walk up to her or I need to have it together. All the guy you've seen through the arc of your time who's been good with women, you perceive them to have it together. That's not really who they are when they're showing it to the woman because they're showing I have it together. They're controlling their image while they're in front of the woman. The real quote unquote example is the man who is willing to show everything, that he has it together, quote unquote, meaning like he's worked on himself, but he also willing to show he doesn't have it together. Because in the not showing that he has it together, the woman can then go, he's not, an, he's not like most guys. Most guys are actually trying to hold it together the whole time. And then you feel like you have to do the same thing because that is what gets a woman. What gets a woman is holding it together. But who you are doesn't have it all together. It's absolutely perfect, but to the collective, it is something that doesn't have it all together. That's what it is. This is the joy of being yourself when you're in front of a woman. But you are in a battle. You're in a battle to what you've seen and what you've been conditioned into. You're battling against that. Why you interact with the girl and before you interact? The battle is before you interact is should I say this or, or, or should I be like this? Should I walk up to her and approach her like this? That's the battle you're going through before. Because you're afraid to just go up and just do the thing you want to do. So you battle before. Not only what should I do this or should I act like this, but also is this weird? Is this strange? Isn't this creepy? Isn't this sleazy? She wouldn't go for a guy like me. You're having your own mental battle of that. And then you transition into maybe you get past the battle and you go do it. Now you're battling your condition as you interact. Because remember, all you saw was guys who had it together. So when you go in there, you'll feel like I'm afraid to show that I don't have this. And then it'll make you anxious and then you'll start doing things to show the girl you don't have it together. Or you'll be so blocked that you're not willing to risk it. And this is something that I felt too when I was first going out there is that I wanted to go up to women but I also wanted to show that I wasn't nervous. I wanted to interact with women but I also wanted to show that I have it. That I can do this. And this is one of the scary things as a man is to feel like I can't do this. And to have a woman know that. To have a woman look at you and go, you can't do this. With those eyes, like this is weird. That's one of the scariest things for a man to feel. So he'll do whatever he can. He'll try to hold it together. He'll try to act aloof. He'll do whatever he can to get away from the fact of I don't have this together and I'm learning this. And this is the thing that I also had to get through in myself. This feeling of, I don't have this together and I'm afraid of showing that. Having a woman look at me with the eyes off, that's creepy. And me feeling like, fuck, now she can see that I don't have it together. I was absolutely afraid of that because I was always seeing like these guys who were showing like they were confident and they, they had it together and you know, they could get the girl that's beautiful, they could test her, they could do these things, they could, you know, act like this, they could fuck with her, they could do all this. I was seeing that and I was going, fuck, I just want to have the internal stability to be able to stay there and do that. And to get her. I want to learn how to do that, but I also don't want to show her the path to that. I don't want to show women the path to that. Which means, I don't want to fuck up, so then I have to show that I don't have it before I have it. 
the battle was always there. From the interaction, before the interaction, and even after I had sex, I still was like, okay, how do I interact with this girl in a way so I don't show that I'm needy? And through all that, I just started to go, this is very silly. This is very silly, silly to battle internally. It's a battle. That's what's silly. Not accept the fact that right now I'm learning, but to battle the old parts, the parts that I want to let go, battle it in the moments. Don't want to show it. Don't want to accept the fact that right now, yep, this is just the fact that I don't know what to say. Or she had this type of reaction. I don't know how to deal with it. I was so afraid of showing that part because I'm like, I want to be the man who can deal with these interactions. I mean, who can deal with these reactions from women. And as the battle went on, I just started to lose steam for it. I just lo lost steam for it and I just went, yeah, right now I, I don't have this. I don't. Like, I can speak to women and I can interact with them, but girls who are really attractive, I don't have it. I don't. Like, when I get in front of them, I do feel scared. I do feel like there's a feeling of I need to prove myself. I do feel that. I do feel it. I'm going to accept, accept the fact that I do feel that so I can change that. That's what it was. And that's the same thing with you. If you feel like there's a beautiful girl there and you feel like you're going through the battle, accept that you will not win the battle against conditioning. You won't win it. You won't. It's too strongly embedded in you. You will not win it. But you can accept it. You can go, yep, this is the way I've been conditioned. But by me going over there to her, I'm now going against the conditioning. So by me going over there, it starts to uncondition. The surface level starts to uncondition. And it moves down to another level. Then as you get there, it starts to uncondition again because you go, yeah, it's there, but I'm not going to allow it to affect me. I'm going to continue. Now it unconditions and moves to another level. And as it continue on, continue on, it will just move to the level where this uproots and this now becomes reality. You can really see what's going on. That was the path for that, my own internal battling. But I wasn't finished. I wasn't. When I was accepting of the things about me that wasn't so good right now, when I was accepting of the fact that I am learning this, I am becoming more of that which I am, and through that process, certain girls will see me as did, and I won't be able to handle certain girls right now. When I accepted that, I started to really see reality, the reality of this. And from that position of, I accept this and I'm learning this, I started to see something that I want you to see right now. You must learn that for me to interact with this woman in a way that's going to be healthy for both of us or conducive for both of us is to help her relax. And what do I mean relax? Help her away from her conditioning. This is what it means. Because when I started to see the reality of mine, I started to see the reality of hers. I wasn't faked out anymore. I wasn't blinded anymore. I could actually see. So through the seeing, I started to see like, I'm not the only one conditioned in this process. The woman is also conditioning. So not only am I battle, not only was I battling my conditioning, I was also battling her conditioning as well. But through the relaxing of my own conditioning, which means like I'm able to accept the fact that this is what I've been conditioned into, I started to see that I can now see hers and help her out of that. <clears throat> because to be honest with you, most women you meet, they won't know how to walk out of their conditioning. They, they just won't. Most women you meet, they just will not know how to step out of their conditioning. They won't. Most of them will feel the block and then let the block be the reality for them. Most of them will. 
And some of them, even past that, will get past the block, have the experience, and then later on, the block will come again. And you're not there to help her through it, so she's only with herself and her block. So through me seeing this, I just went, ah, it's not only just me, it's also her. Through seeing that it's also her, it helped me understand that it's not all just me because something you will start out in the beginning believing is that it's all just you. That everything that's happening in this moment is you. When I walked up to her and I said hello and she just went like this, that's you. That's what the whole perception will be from the beginning. Excuse me, you look wonderful. Okay, uh, okay, uh, see you. You will think in the beginning that you did something weird. Even if you didn't, you will think that because you will go, I'm not good at this yet. I don't know how to do this. It was me. I walked up to her and she gave me this weird thing. Hey, I am creepy. It's all I am. It's me. That's all the beginning part. But once you move through and you start to see the reality of things, even just accepting the fact that your conditioning is there and that it wants to tell you that you're creepy, it wants to tell you that you're not good enough, even accepting that, which means that even allowing it to be there and still acting, you're going to see that, fuck, I just thought it was all me. That's what you're going to see. Then you can go, okay, this is different. So you're trying to tell me this whole time that many times it was the woman? Yes, I'm telling you that. Sometimes you think that when you walk up to her and or when you see her and she sees you looking at her and she like looks away, you're like, fuck, I was creepy. In that moment, she did like this. You don't think that that means something about her? You're coming totally from the position of all women are on this place where they're feeling good and they're feeling nice and I need to go up to them and I need to get in that same place. Remember, you're thinking that. You don't know reality yet, so you're thinking that. You're from afar doing that. But when you get out there and you start interacting a lot, you start to see that that was that woman. That wasn't me. Excuse me. Uh, no, I don't want to talk. That's her. Oh, I, I just, I just, uh, uh, I interrupted her. I made her day go bad. No, you didn't. Her day was already bad. You can't see because it's all on you. You're like everything is me. So yes, you are. On, you're not only there with the girl, but you're not, but you're battling her conditioning as well. You have to forgive me because I've been doing coaching this whole time, so I feel myself like almost losing it. But I'm still here. All right. Her conditioning will also be a determining factor of how you're going to interact. Of course, in the beginning, many of the times, almost all the times, yes, it will be you. Because you'll go up and do things that are unnatural even to like being who you are. It's going to be unnatural to it. Yes, it will be you. But I can tell you, even in that phase, when there's a lot of time you, it's her too. <laughs> Because she's just as conditioned as you are. She's no better than you, really. Women are just as fucked up as men. There's no difference to this. And I tell you that when you allow yourself to see the truth of this, you're going to go, she's playing the game. She is. You don't think women play games too? You don't think the same thing of like, the man who's walking around confident is like the guy who's good with women. You don't think women are doing things like putting on this thing and putting on this thing and acting in this way because they think that's the sexy woman. They're playing the game as well. The sexy woman does this. The sexy woman dresses in this. The sexy woman does this thing. The sexy woman, she walks through the street and she, ha she has her head held high. You don't think she's playing the game too. She is. And the thing is, is when you come there, you give her the chance to not play the game. That's what it is. This is the joy in all this. 
is that once you can allow yourself to enjoy yourself with the woman, from the place of, I accept this conditioning, you can bring her into the fact of her accepting the fact that she's been conditioning, but being able to be herself in front of you. And don't get me wrong, some of them will continuously play the game. They will. I was talking to a girl yesterday, and it was like a Ukrainian girl, and she had this lovely dress on and these heels, and she looked like she was about maybe 23. But the way she was acting, it was just like, I was like, I walked over to her because she was, <laughs> when I walked over to her, she was doing something on her phone. I think it was like some Snapchat thing, huh? Where you like use the, use the, <laughs> you use the, uh, the, the music. Yeah. Yeah, maybe she was like using some music and she's like doing like this. And I just was like, I walked over and I was like, do you enjoy that? And she's like, she looked at me and she was like, and like with this really like attitude like this and then she went to her phone and then I was like, I just saw you in these heels and I thought you look so wonderful and beautiful but you look so much older than what you actually are. And she was like, hmm. And I was like, don't try to make it seem like you're older than what you are. Don't try to make it seem like, and I sat down and then she just went, muscle, 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 and like she just started trying to speak Ukrainian and I was like, muscle, muscle, and I did it back and she started laughing because in that moment she felt like hmm and then she broke out for the moment and then she went right back to it and I was like I know that I don't want to interact with this woman because I have to play the game to interact with her I have to play the game of fucking with her saying maybe saying mean things making her feel a little bit like this a little bit uncomfortable like I don't want to play the game I don't I want to know her and I offer her the space to come into it by me doing stuff like that. But I ultimately leave it up to the woman because do I want to spend time with a woman like that? Fuck no. No fucking way. And this is why guys, they just see a woman and she's so beautiful and they go, wow. She's just, wow, I want to spend time with her. And I go, do you actually want to spend time with her? Do you really? Or do you just see a beautiful girl and you go, I want to get that girl? And I'm going to make a video for sure about men wanting women but, what, but not knowing how to have women. And for sure I am because it's this whole thing of she's beautiful so that means she's this wonderful light. Which is the furthest from the truth. Her conditioning is just as strong as yours. So in many ways, if you don't come out of your conditioning in front of her and accept the fact that that it's there and it's going to make you react but you can still be here with yourself she's not going to because she's following your lead and you'll get some women some women sometimes who are willing to be open and they're willing to go past their conditioning and they want to find out what more of life is like and that's great that's going to be the woman you end up in open relationships with as you say open relationships and other things and maybe you do play the game i don't say i don't say playing the game is wrong but I'm telling you, you're going to play the game and she's not going to be like this fucking amazing girl in bed. I can get, guarantee you that. can guarantee you. Because remember, the game is blocking the woman. So she's at the surface. So that means that she leads with the surface. She doesn't probably really know what it's like to really be sexually open and expressive. Because even the hottest girl that I've ever had sex with, technically hot girl, she wasn't even that great in bed. And she was well beyond the conditioning. She was willing to go home with me on the first day. But one thing I know for sure is that if she was willing to show herself, it would be very different. You're not only battling your own, you're battling hers sometimes. And it's now understanding that if you don't accept the fact that you're going to react and you're going to feel things and you've been conditioned in many ways which means if you don't allow it to be there while you still take action then she's going to allow hers to be there because she won't know how to relax it out of herself she won't most women do not know i've never met a woman who's been able to relax it by herself like from the first moment i met her never met a woman who truly knows how to relax it never Well, just one woman, she was a friend of mine, but never on the streets, never. And that's what I was teaching the student today. 
I was teaching him that, and that, and that the same one in the video, uh, that if you see my next video is going to be about energy, that same guy in that video, I was teaching him today, if he does not say something about what she's feeling, she's never going to relax her shoulders. It's going to stay like this. It is. He needs to say something so she, about it so she can be like, oh. She won't know. All she'll do is react and stay like this. Even most people, when they feel in a situation like they don't know what to do, they just stay like that. They do. Or they're, they stay like this and be there in front of you because they're, they don't want to walk away for being rude. Or they do like this and then they walk away. Becoming the man who understands he can relax a woman is becoming the man who's going to be able to be himself with the woman more. The man who's the most himself will see those moments of the girl doing like this in any kind of way and go, I know you feel like this, but it's okay. Then you have the third thing where everybody around here, everybody, This is why it's hard for you to do things. You're battling your conditioning, you're battling her conditioning, and you're battling the condition of everybody else. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Maybe she's gonna think I'm weird. And in the moment she's like, she's just walking and she's thinking about things. And then you walk up to her and you say hello and then she's like this. And then at the same time, you're like, oh my God, people think I'm creepy. Do you see how strong that is? That's very, very strong. The battle is so strong when you're doing that. You are feeling people around you and their energy towards you. You are feeling the energy of the woman and you're feeling the energy internally all at the same time. That's why this is so difficult. And as I was telling you before and now I'm going to tell you now, it's so unnatural to women, to people, whoever it is, to just walk up to a woman on the street and say hello to her during the day. That is the most unnatural thing because she's like, I'm going throughout my day, who is this? It's the most unnatural thing. The collective thinks that's fucking weird. Many of them, they do. They look at it and go, like, what is he doing? Is he trying to pick her up? Oh, fuck, he's trying to pick her up. Then they look at him and they just go, they maybe they think they, maybe he's going to fail or something. They look at him and they just go, all right, well, that's, that's that. And then they, it leaves out of their, of course, care. But in the moment, they do are like, okay, this is, what is he doing? And especially if they know, they're going to go, oh, okay, that's either weird or they're going to feel like, all right, well. And they're going to feel something about it. They are. And you can feel the energy of people when they're looking at you. You can. You can feel energy of just support, energy of this is weird. And, oh, look at that, a nice little buggy. And any of these things. As you battle this, this course is going to be difficult. It is. Because you're in conflict with so many different things. Yourself and what you feel, the nervousness, the woman that's in front of you and what she feels and how to relax her. Then you feel all the shit from the outside world or your perceptions of what the outside world sees you as. As you deal with this loop of conditioning, the only thing to do is to stand in the middle of it. It's the only thing to do. Because you won't beat the loop, you will not. You won't beat your internal conditioning, you won't beat the conditioning of the woman in front of you, or you won't beat the conditioning of the people around you. You just won't beat it. But standing in the middle, and going, I accept the conditioning of the woman and I'm going to relax her. I accept my own conditioning and I know that this is the way that I've been conditioned into. And I accept that people around here may think it's weird and not like it. And that's a lot to feel. It's absolutely a lot. You don't think sometimes I'm standing here doing this video, I don't feel the energy of people going past me? You don't think I feel that? You don't think that sometimes when I'm in front of a woman, I don't feel, even now, the sensitivity to how strongly she's feeling on the inside is so intense to me that I know exactly what she's going to say sometimes. When I go in front of her and she's like, yes, I'm like, 
This girl is feeling so strongly right now. Not that this is weird. She's feeling so strongly something else underneath that. Because I know that is just the surface level reaction, but it's something underneath that that's even more weird to her. Maybe it's, I don't want to be open to anybody that I don't know. Maybe it's that, but that's, it's underneath the this is weird. I can feel that part of her very sensitively. So I'm relaxing the part of her so she can be open. I'm not relaxing the weird part, I'm relaxing the part of her that can be open and I'm resonating to that place. And my own conditioning, I don't care about. I simply don't care. I care enough to go, all right, that's something that was there, mean like give it attention, but I don't care enough to mean like let it stop me. In the past, of course, it used to just have a hold on me, but I don't have mental structures now. I'm in the process of just totally letting go, and I don't feel things like certain guys will still feel. When guys say, my heart still race, my heart really ever does that, it does. Because the things in myself that are undoing are going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. But I tell you, this is why it's hard for you to enjoy being with a woman. This is why it's hard. It's simply all the battling that's going on. And through all this battling, the only thing you can do is accept all of it. Just stand in the middle of all of it. Feel it. Don't try to do anything about it. I thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Right now I'm in a wonderful park here in Budapest. Uh, it's a lovely evening. I just did some coaching, so right now I have taxed out. I don't have anything else to say. Subscribe and share. If you don't know this, I'm coming to London and I have one spot available for the coaching. One guy is talking to me now, but I'll give it to the first guy who has the money and who I wanna coach. So if you wanna do that, Write me at Tony Solo at TheEssenceOfMen.com. My seminar is coming up. I don't know how many spots I have because I haven't checked, but there's only 20 spots available, and this is the time to see me. Like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.